record button, jackass, and then turn the preview off because you you're sex. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. Friends, denizens of the internet, hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Subnautica Below Zero over here at Lost Time Gaming. I am Devo. We're jumping back into the shoes of Robin here, our protagonist. That being said, uh, at the end of the last episode, we died. Yeah, and we lost stuff. Um, I don't know what exactly we lost, but I'm sure it was important. So what we're going to do is we're going to need a little, mm, a little cured hoop fish. Hop back out this bad boy and uh, yeah do what we just did over again because even though we did die um getting or exploring this uh the glacial area is actually what we're supposed to do but now i wonder if i where i uh i died at maybe i was much further away than i thought because i thought i was closer than this to the the entrance where we left the sea truck but i guess i guess not i guess i was quite far away and should have brought the sea truck up further Maybe we'll die again because I didn't didn't park close enough. <laughs> no, this looks like our way up here. But uh, we are supposed to basically explore this area. And you know what? The as much as it would kind of give away a lot of the game, so to speak, for this game, this game would really do with a map that you could look at. Because not having any idea the scope or length of some of these areas makes it really difficult to uh, not die via cold or, you know, if, if in underwater exploration, you know, from air loss. Come on, hey, Robin, come on. Really? I'm going to jump backwards. That's right. We, we proved that fact before. You can't jump on it. Robin's like, I'm going to kick backwards then. That's not how things are done safely, but hey, that's the way it is. So what we're doing here, because I, I consulted the guy because I had no idea what we were doing last time. Uh, what we're supposed to be doing in this area, at least I assume this is the area we're in, is we're looking for a research center. Which apparently is just, we're just gonna, you know, see it, or get like a, a marker pop up for it once we get there. Because I'm pretty sure that's where we came in originally, and we couldn't cross up here because there was, uh, the bridge was out. I'm pretty sure. Unless I'm making that up, there's a distinct possibility of that. Trying to, um, I head on a swivel here just so I can keep my eyes open. We get a little pull off where we can heat ourselves. It's not this. <laughs> Whatever this is, it's not, it's not doing it. <laughs> so, and the little bit of the guide I read suggested that we, there were that, like, the caves on the sides here are pretty good about having I a little checkpoint. Yeah, I know, more. If you could point me to the nearest place where uh, I'm not going to die from hypothermia, that would be great. No, no, we're just going to die again. All right, that's cool. I didn't want to live anyway. <laughs> okay, well. I like how... <laughs> Come on, there you go. Thank you for dying, Robin. Again, not something I thought I was going to be saying today, but... Hey, look, I said it anyway. Seems like there's a... Oh, that was... There's just something on my screen. I thought there was, like, a little asterisk next to you died, but it was just just some crud of the screen. All right, so we're going to do that again. And, uh, actually, let's see if we can get the sea truck a little further in here. Because it was quite some ways away. Oh, that's right. I think I tried to do this originally, and it was just too tight. It's like driving a semi. You really got to... Really got to swing it around town, so to speak. It's tight. Tight like a tiger. All right. Come on, get it in there. Ah, so we could, we could bring it up further. I'm just a dunce. Which seems pretty obvious now that I say it out loud. So clearly the way we just went there, I feel like that was the way to go. But we, uh... I, I must have missed, like, uh, or gone, like, in the wrong direction at a critical point, like, for, like, a pull-off to not freeze to death. Because otherwise, like, why is this here? If it's if it's not capable of reaching some place to not die, uh, why why you let me do this? I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, that's blue. That's crazy blue. I love it. I love it. Let's give this another try. And the blizzard isn't a uh, isn't helping things as you may imagine. All right, so be a little more mindful now an area to shelter the storm at some point because obviously because we're is that a ladder 
because we're exploring, we want to kind of use our entire length worth of, uh, I don't know, freeze to death meter? Because that's not my body temperature, I can tell you that much. Because uh, I go ahead and let you know that you're dead long before your body temperature hits 36 degrees. You know, unless we're talking Celsius, in which case that's a whole other bag of worms because it starts at 100. That being said, oh yeah, I forgot, the uh, the steam geysers work too. Alright, well, that only works temporarily though. I mean, I guess uh, there's another one here, but... Yes. So, I was looking at some of the stuff. It, it, the guide I was reading, you know, basically we had did everything up until a point that the guide suggested. And I was like, oh, cool. So I was, you know, keeping up on what we should be doing. But then it's like, yeah, just build the prawn suit. And I'm like, why? Why would I? Why would I do that? You know, there's really no need at this current time. I don't really have the materials for, like, uh, depth upgrades for that. Unless maybe it's different. Oh, hi. How are you? Yeah, just slap you. There you go. See how you like that. Oh, I don't know if I should have did that, but, you know. Did it? We did. Oh, there's just like another ladder right back up there. That was kind of pointless, I think. Well, I mean, there's a lot of land here, but like, that's it. I don't, I don't see anything other than a lot of land here. Which kind of raises the, uh-oh. Kind of raises the questions, who put all these ladders here? These ladders didn't just apparate out of thin air. Somebody had to put them here. Why are they here, and why is there nothing else linking these ladders? It's like, here's just this ladder going up this small ledge. Well, what is the ledge below it? That's eh, nothing. What about the ledge above it? That is also nothing. Oh, okay. Fiber mesh? That's weird. Just going into a cave now, which is good, because we won't freeze to death. But I haven't met a cave here that had anything worthwhile in it. They look cool. They look really cool. They're like you know, arctic ice, and but there's never, I mean, there was fiber mesh in that one, but like, cool, cool story, bro, the fiber mesh. It's like, I don't really, really care about fiber mesh, to be honest with you. I couldn't even tell you offhand what that's used for, as far as, uh, like, crafting, so I really don't care about it. If it was for something important, I'd be like, oh, okay, that's fine. Um, why am I out of food again? There we go. Look at that smack down on that nutrient bar. Whoa, watch out for the ice spikes. You almost got, a, uh, Almost got impaled there. Which, uh, I found out in a, as a teenager that people actually die from stuff like that. <laughs> Just, oops, random ice spike, you're dead. Yeah, Robin, that's not... Okay, you're, you're reaching the limitations of me using this as a flashlight, I guess. Oh, this one's me? Okay. It's too cold here. I descend from a tropical people, and for the record, I am suffering. The cold weather and frequent storms really put a damper on research. The native animals have some great environmental adaptations, though. Snow stalkers have this thick, double-layered coat that keeps them warm and dry, on both land and water. Oh man, a snow stalker fur-lined suit would be amazing. Only problem is how to get the fur. Can't exactly catch and shear them. I like having all my limbs, thank you very much. Maybe I can use the spy penglings. They could gather fur scraps, which would definitely minimize the need for safety precautions. Okay. <laughs> I thought I understood what he was talking about, and then I did not. Oh, that was something I knew I lost last time, was a water purification tablet. I got that and then died like 10 seconds later, which is good. That's great. But there was something in the guide about the spy penguins. I didn't read what they do or are for. Just the the guide simply said they may be useful later on. Oh wow, that he was right behind me, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Okay, <laughs> let's let's run. Let us run now. I can hear him. Please don't eat me. <laughs> ah, just the gentlest of ah from getting attacked by a giant snow bear dog yeti. I called it a yeti in the last episode, and I stand by that. It may not be a Yeti in actuality, but my golly gosh, I still think it is. Wait, didn't I come out of here? 
Yeah, because that's where I came down. And there's nothing else in here. Wait, no. I mean, I came down. Oh, yeah, I did, because there's a... Yep, that's where we got the... The fiber mesh that I did not care for. All right, well, good. I've gotten launched already. Proving I have zero orienteering skills. It's not that I, uh... I suck at it, I just don't know how to... I just don't get the concept. Well, hi. Nope. Sorry. I'm gonna go over here. Yeah. See how you like that. See... Let's see you do that and snap your ankles like I did. Again, this is another one of these. I don't know... I don't get these. I assume I'll get them at some point. Like, uh, I'll have to scan them or something along those lines. Pick up. Wait, why did I pick that up? What, what is this? Iodine content useful for chemical applications. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess we'll take two then. Because we never need just one of something in this game. I mean, it does happen, but it's pretty rare. Nope, don't need that. Oh, hi. I'm gonna go this way. I figure if I wander around here long enough, it'll... I'll run into the thing I'm looking for. Fevered pepper tree. Okay. The fevered pepper tree produces fruits with high levels of capsaicin. Which helps raise body temperature and stimulates blood flow. Yeah, capsaicin. That's a. Uh, I can't. Uh, for some reason, I have a horrible tolerance to like spicy foods. I can't stand them. And that's because of the capsaicin. Um. Wow, that's actually really good. It's actually really good. It's got water, food, and gives me body heat. It's handy. I'm gonna eat both of those and then pick up the rest. Yeah. I'm not going to carry all of them because, as you can see, they're double double wides, and while I do like having the stuff on me to not freeze to death, we can't sacrifice the entire inventory for that cause. So, what's up here now? Everything, and this is this is what I mean about having a map because, like this this area is obviously unique and looks cool, but by the same token, I can't parse it from any other section of this area. You know, it's just, it's rocky, glaciers, tundra. There's no, I mean, there's bears, you know, obviously trying to kill me. And I just slap it in the eyeball and then run away like a little baby man. Oh, I've, I was down here already before. We, we've run this loop already. Oh, hi. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, tried, I tried to leave. You didn't let me. Yes, you, you get angry. I run. Alright, so, giving me, getting a height advantage has not shown me any, uh, there's no landmarks or anything. So something's telling me that the thing I'm looking for, the research station, quote-unquote, is not a giant structure. Or it's embedded in the ice, like it's in a cave or something. So, the, unfortunately, that kind of makes my wander around strategy totally useless. That was weird. I sworn I heard a Yeti off in the distance. Because if I can't wander around and find what I need, I'll never find it kind of deal. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. No, I don't want to. I mean, I do, but I don't by the same token. Uh, I want to just drop down here. Oh, there, there we go. I'm, I'm almost dead. Good. The next thing that sneezes hard on me will kill me, which is probably for the best. Mm. So I've seen the, the dock section over here. I figure we'll go check that out. Although maybe I should just hide in this cave until the uh, storm's over. Nah. Nah. Because, I mean, we don't really have anything all that worthwhile in our inventory to lose. I'm not super concerned about it. <laughs> oh, we're going to lose the fiber mesh? Oh, no. Say on problem. <laughs> it's not. It's not a problem. What is a problem is me not finding anything while wandering around here like a crazy person. Just taking a look, see. Uh oh, I hear more Yeti bears. Yeti bear! I know they have a name. I haven't figured it out yet. Or rather, I haven't scanned them to figure it out yet, so. Oh, yeah, I didn't, 
Didn't expect me to just run right past you, did you? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, you're right behind me. Crap. Oh, there's more. And that's me dying. Ooh. No, this is the second thing that's eaten me alive in this game. Oh no, I lost some fiber mesh. Oh no! Possibly some water purification tablets. Yeah, they took the water purification tablets. No! No, I don't really care about that. <laughs> I don't. For some reason, it's... I, I'm not paying attention to my food level before I, I die, but I'm pretty sure it's taking some of my food meter away? Because I, I kind of felt like it did last time as well. Where, like, I, I came back to life and I had way less food in my meter than I remember having. But we'll sea glide back up here. And if I don't find anything in short order this time, I'll just cut to when I do find something. Because, as usual, as, as beautiful as the locations are, um, there's only so much commentary I can provide for walking around a frozen tundra. Even with these cute little pieces of crap wandering around. It's just, it's only so exciting. Even, even as a casual watch, I can only provide so much color commentary. Oh, thought that was something. It's just a light. Yeah, we went left those last few times, so I figure we'll try right this time and see if that helps us. What was that? Robin, you alright? Just panicking, throwing your arms up in the air? Like you just don't care? I mean, you know, you can do that. That is an option. Just be advised, I'm gonna look confused when you do do that. At least without any forewarning. What is that, trees? Ow. There's trees here. Ooh, stuff. <laughs> stuff. Yeah. I feel like this is like a separate biome here because it's got trees. All right, what do you got, stuff? What do you got? Five, five from mesh. All right. Beacon. Dropped a beacon. Why is there a dropped beacon here? I'm gonna take that. Oh, maybe that's the stuff I lost when I died. That's one of the things I lost that I really cared about was the beacon. Ooh, Snow Fox jump module. New technology acquired. Sweet. Stop it, Robin. I get it. All right, so we got new tech over here. That's promising. It kind of makes me want to keep going this way, <laughs> even though I don't know anything else about what's going on here. Uh-oh, looks like the sun's setting. That, that's not good for me. Mostly just because I can't see at night because I have regular old people eyes, but I think I think we found our destination there because that looks like some sort of technology, which is good because I don't want to die. You know, for like the third time. First two times, you know, that's fine. Yeah, more water purification tablets. Why do you keep giving me these? You weirded me out. I literally haven't used a single one of those, but yet you're giving me all of them. All right, I get it. I'm, I'm freezing to death. Yes. I, I, I didn't need the heartbeat. Wait, I'm in a cave. Why? Well, I was going to say, why have I not stopped freezing to death? I know that's how it wouldn't work in reality, but... Come on now. Uh-oh. Ooh. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Harvan Ivanov. Oh, that's a person's name. I, I thought it was like some nonsense at the door, but like, no, that's that's somebody's name. Let's scan this bad boy. Oh, crap. It gave me, like, his bio. That's cool. Security specialist reports to Emmanuel Desjardins. Excavation site security. Mining site security. Wow. That's... I don't like that. I don't like the fact that his that in the future your personality is a number letter cipher hmm don't like that open says robin strange place for a security bunker no robin robin come on now i'm just trying to be sensible you walk into a sealed room 
a la security door. You shut the door behind you. Look at the size of that door. You don't just leave that open. Come on now. So what do we got here? We got all kinds of stuff. Snow stalker for heck yeah. Oh, and screens. Oh, a glorious wall of screens. It's a little, little bouncy on the on the stool there, but... I can't really do anything with any of this, though. That's sad. Oh, wait. Arvan's bed. Yes. Scan someone else's bed. Oh, I thought... I thought that might have given me, like, some stuff, but no, it's not. Another jukebox sticks. Yes. That's an awesome picture. That almost... That almost looks like some Super Metroid art. I know it's not, obviously. Oh, I know what it is. It's the... It's the Emperor... Sea, the Sea Emperor. From, uh... The first Subnautica, he breathed fire and was down in the lava area. Okay. I, I'd take these. Oh, and that's that's also from Subnautica 1. <laughs> uh, I'd take these, but, like, I don't I don't have a base to hang posters yet, so... Ooh, we'll scan this, I guess. Scan the fridge. Is it, that was actually a thing. Okay. Oh, I can't access the fridge, though. That's a... That's a bummer. Ooh, PDA. My dearest Adeline at Rosita. Ugh, not dearest. Who says that anymore? Adeline, Rosita. Everything on the mission is going very well. Do you see now? Your doubts were unfounded. I am loved here, and... Ugh, no. Rosita will say, Papa, why do you have to brag all the time? Papa, it's embarrassing. <sighs> I want to apologize. Okay, no, that's taking things too far. I know we didn't leave things on the best note, but I want you to know I love you and I miss you. I don't know why I say the things I say sometimes. They just come out. I was going to send you a message saying how great everything is here and how everyone loves me. I've had a promotion to a very important security dossier. I'm treated like a hero. But really, this is a cold, wet planet. The scientists are full of themselves. There's no action to speak of. The only thing I look forward to is weekly games of Alien Intruder, but more than that, of coming home to you. I am sorry for all the times I did not appreciate you, of our family, or the good life we had. And I... Oh, who am I kidding? I can't send this. What's the use? Oh, okay, well, you know, considering you're not here anymore, sometimes, sometimes sending things like that may be better off than not sending things, things left unsaid, so to speak. If you're not cheating, then you won't mind if I record this conversation, is that right? I have nothing to hide. Then what were you whispering about with Vin? Nothing. Th that guy is so lawful good, it's annoying. Wait, so you were trying to cheat. But no cheating occurred, so what does it matter? It matters to team morale. If you can cheat in the game, how can they trust you out there? I'm sorry, did you feel left out? Perhaps you would like to make a deal. Ugh, Parvin, no. You're shameless. You really never give up, do you? I don't. That's true. <laughs> Have a manual put that in my next eval. Very persistent. Ah. Looking like a little metagaming. Really hard to not do. I can tell you from experience. It is it is super easy to do and super, super difficult to not do. Alright, well, this place is lovely. Um, and there's absolutely nothing here of any use to anyone now. Heck, there was barely anything here to start with, surprisingly. But, you know, we're we're all we're all fine here now. How are you? I'm gonna leave, I guess. Come on. There you go. It's a big door, Robin. You gotta lean into it. And just go walking out into the tundra again. This should be good. I still, I, I hope that, like I said, that that's a sign that we're on the right track. I really hope it is. And that's not just like the only thing out here. What is that? A forklift? I can drive one of those. I can drive a forklift like a boss. I saw so many things here. Death among them. Oh, wait, did something horrible happen here? Oh, 
Oh, there was a cave in of some sort, it looks like. Oh man, what the heck is this? There's like a mining facility set up here. Oh yeah, there was a cave in. Sorry, I, I saw I saw a forklift and was like, oh yeah, let me let me get in on that. Oh ho, 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 ho. Uh, uh. Hi there, big fella. Can we go take a look at you? I know I know I just wandered past a bunch of stuff without looking at it, but Hi. Hi, buddy. How are you? Because you know what? You keep giving me these water purification tablets. I'm just going to start eating them. Combine with a snowball to create drinkable water. Okay, cool. Um, but I'm going to not do that because I don't need to. <laughs> At least this second. And it seems actually... I could have sworn... Ooh, glass. I could have sworn in Subnautica 1 you lost water much faster than you lost food. And ironically, that's true to real life. But it seems like in this one, we're losing food much faster than water. Oh, this is the thing they were talking about. Look at this cute little robot with tire tra or uh, tank treads. That's great. You cute little piece of crap. Oh, sweet. I just got that. I didn't even... Didn't even a deem to do nothing with it. New technology acquired. Sweet. Ooh, lubricant. All right. Oh, I think... I think what they're doing is they're giving me all the materials so I can make that here. Oh, sweet, this did work. I totally thought for sure this was going to be a, a no bueno thing here, but no. We are full bueno, as it were. I did see there was a... Oh, wow, we... I thought we were going to take, like, a walk around, but no, you are right there. Frozen creature skull. Scan it. Lots of room for a brain, but it's mostly bone and fat. <laughs> oh, the teeth are its own separate thing. Sharp teeth for tearing through flesh and bone. Yeah, yeah, that's usually what sharp teeth are used for. What's this? Insert sample. Requires injectable container to function. What? Wh what? Okay. Oh, no, you got the... Is that the thing from the first game? There was a sickness in the first game. The car infection pustule. Ugh, gross. Environmental conditions and subtle mutations suggest that this variant of the car bacterium's rate of transmission is somewhat lower than that of the widespread outbreak previously reported on 4546B. So this is the one from Subnautica. The bacteria's capacity to survive for a long period of time off of the Leviathan's corpse suggests highly efficient saprophytic properties. Scans indicate the pustules are merely the visible component of a dense bacterial network feeding off of the dead cells of the Leviathan. Despite the risk, further research is recommended. Yeah, there was a there was a, a bacterium in Subnautica 1 that you you unwittingly get and that's what the gun emplacement that I talked about was there. It was to prevent you from leaving and spreading the bacteria because it would basically, I don't know if it would like wipe out all life in like the galaxy, but oh, well, oh hi, reflection of me. It was a, uh, it was super dangerous. So like the, the aliens or precursors or whatever you want to call them, basically built the planetary gun so that if you came onto the planet, you were like guaranteed infected and therefore would not be allowed to leave because you came to the planet. It's basically like a guarantee that if you came to the planet you were you had the bacteria on you and it was so virulent that there was no there was no way to get rid of it more so than getting shot out of the sky when you try and leave. Alright so that's all that was here. I guess it, it probably wants me to go scan some more. Also Ooh jeez watch the ankles. I'm pretty sure this is not what I was looking for. Uh it, like I don't know, maybe it was. Again, there's no map, so I, I couldn't tell you if this was the thing I was looking for or not. Look at all this stuff. Fiber mesh, synthetic fibers, and silicone rubber. Nice. Can't wait to drop all those for much more important materials momentarily. <laughs> Forklift, let me get in that bad boy. Drive it around. No, sorry, just having... Forklift daydreams. Getting distracted is more like it. All right, let's go in the ice cave. Was that a prawn suit? Ooh, hydrochloric acid. That's dangerous. <laughs> that's that's a dangerous. Be careful with that. 
Oh, I didn't realize this was a scan thing. Oh, this is a more wide open thing. Oh man, look at that size of that guy. Okay. Frozen Leviathan. We found this thing buried in the glacier. Gave someone a hell of a fright. Turns out it was walking around a thousand years ago when it fell through the ice. It was infected with the Cara bacterium, the aggressive disease which wiped out the architects and almost all life on the planet. It is unclear whether the mutated Cara pustules present are responsible for the ultimate device of the creature. Since the enzyme cure was released on 4546B, the bacterium has been all but eliminated. Rare specimens like these provide our only live source. Research on the bacterium has been transferred to the Secure Omega Laboratory, while further research on the creature will be conducted at the excavation site. Is that is the Omega Lab on planet? Is that is that something we're gonna go deal with? Because you know, I don't mind telling you, I like the sound of the Omega Lab. Oh come on, this is just here. I can't I can't hop in this. Uh, well, the the glass is cracked, but still, I literally have glass in my inventory. No? Okay. I'll leave then. Oh, that's really cool that you can see it through the ice. Really cool. I wonder though, is there a pustule or... Because when I scanned the bacterium, it did say, you know, it's super dangerous, but we're going to need you to go ahead and scan some more of that. You know, I was okay with that. I was on board. Just being a weirdo though, I'm like, just like not telling me to do that. Oh, I thought maybe there was like a way to go down here, but no, it's just some crushed stuff. Stuff that is crushed. And sadly, I get the feeling that's all there is here. Not that there wasn't like a lot of cool stuff, but... Pretty sure. That's all there is. Sorry, I gotta, I gotta eat some fevered peppers. That, that sounds horrific. This person who can't stand hot stuff, that sounds like... Just the worst thing ever. And I don't think I can scan it from the front or anything like that. No, because I was just the cave and it it didn't give me no option to scan nothing. Oh, what's up here? Stuff? Things. No, it's nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. That was a table. Ooh, PD8. Patrol log, excavation site, day 33, morning. I thought I saw something moving on the screen, but it was just that I sneezed. Wiped it off. Gross. Fred's not convinced the Leviathan is really dead, but I've never even seen it blink. Nevertheless, I am now undertaking the mandatory foot patrol. Inside the cave, confirming a whole lot of nothing. Creature still dead, cave still boring. I miss the mining site. At least he could talk to people. Oh, wait now. What's this? A rock! I found an interesting rock. That makes three this week. The others will be happy to have a friend. Concluding patrol. Perimeter secured. Nothing to report. End log. I can't tell if that guy has just a dry sense of humor or he's a smarmy prick. I don't, I'm not sure. It's like, I, I can only assume you get paid a crap load of, of money to explore off-world planets and just be a security guard. Like, in reality, security guard isn't, like, the, the least paying uh, job ever, depending on where you're doing. Wait, do we just get another scanner? Why? And it, does, it doesn't even have any batteries in here. Get out of here. That's some carbo. I will take this necklace, though. This was Sam's necklace. She never took it off. Oh, snap. Cool. Wait, do I just have that now? Can I... Oh, that's gonna take up a slot. My investigation of the fire excavation site, including the cave entrance and surrounding area, revealed minor cosmetic damage to Altera survey equipment and significant structural damage to the natural cave entrance and supports. Resulting debris prevents cave access without heavy excavation equipment. Only foot access is currently possible. We are reporting two casualties, Pavan Ivanov and Samantha Ayu. Both bodies were found beneath the rubble at the cave entrance 
Ivanov had just entered the cave. The prints were still visible by the entrance. Deeper into the cave, Ayu appeared to have sustained a fall. Poor souls. What was Ayu doing? Nothing in her file suggests a history of vandalism or carelessness. And yet, I can only conclude that the cause of the collapse was employee negligence. We will need to investigate a possible connection to the explosive damage reported at Omega Lab. If there is a connection, who is responsible? Okay, so I kind of feel bad <laughs> trash talking that guy because I just found out he's dead. Death was accompanied by significant destruction. Doesn't make any sense. She would never destroy a base. Well, baselessly. Are your feelings confused? I'm detecting more than one. I don't know. I, I feel disillusioned, worried. I thought I knew Sam better than I really did. When we were kids, I was always the one breaking and rebuilding things. She wouldn't even go into a bake sale without a plan. For classic oatmeal cookies, no less. So serious. She wouldn't have anything to do with my molecularly transformed caramel pretzel lumps. Your mind goes easily to food. We distract you from your feelings. Okay, I think that's enough mind reading for now. This wasn't negligence. That's not Sam. This was something else. Yep. And I think that's all the time I have for this episode. Thank you everybody so much for joining me on another exciting look into the world of Subnautica Below Zero. Thankfully, we found where we need to go. I was worried I was going to be wandering the frozen waste endlessly. That's, and I, I died and there was kind of a lot of nothing in the beginning of the episode. So I kind of made this one a little longer to make up for it. That being said, thanks for watching today. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, get subscribed. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about my gameplay, my commentary, or anything else in general. That being said, thanks for watching, and as usual, I'll catch you all on the flip side.